you all should need to know that America is not sending their best and brightest, you know, to Washington, D.C. <laughs> Truffle shuffle update, my friends. We've got a John Fetterman sighting. Weird. Got a Bigfoot sighting in Colorado the other day. Bigfoot's real, boys. All right? Cryptozoologist. It's real. And so is this lurch-looking motherfucker over here, but completely and absolutely out of touch with reality. No sense of self-perspective, boys. Not when it comes to this dumb fucking goofball over here who... With the help of the criminals who helped Joe Biden's administration steal those positions, stole a Senate position in Pennsylvania. Everybody's favorite brain damaged. Oh, Truffle shuffle update, boys. We've got a John Fetterman sighting. It's weird. Has anybody seen John Fetterman or Bigfoot in the same room at the same time? Because Bigfoot's real, boys. Right? Saw footage of Zimzer himself. In Colorado yesterday, and now we've got another sighting of John Fetterman over at... Oh, shit, they're back? Did anybody even realize they're back? Stephen Colbert and his diverse city superhero team of comedy writers back. Did they win? Did you win, sons? Well, we didn't get a pay raise, but now we have rainbow dildos in our cry claw. That's weird. That's disgusting and weird. Well, shut up, weirdo. Anyhow, uh, no, the shows are back. And they said, let's bring John Fetterman. Let's take this brain-damaged goofball over here and launder his image some more through, again, this cocksucker kid fuckers program over here. And this dude goes up onto the stage with his motherfucking speaking spell on the desk. I swear to God. She. You can see it right there in the picture. <laughs> he's got a fucking, he's got an Apple, uh, an Apple iPad. Apple. Oh, fuck you, Tim Apple. He's got an Apple iPad over here, and it's all plugged into all of this shit that this fucking dude is needing to hear and understand what the hell people are saying. Okay, well then you can't be a senator then. I mean, look at this fucking world. Look at this world. You got white supremacists, domestic terrorists, insurrecting in Washington D.C. Boys at a rate unever seen before. This is Right? Way worse than 9-11, Pearl Harbor, the burning of the White House, the British fucking people, the revolution. It, it worse than everything. Insurrections, Donald Trump supporters. Oh, God, God, do something about it. Oh, my God. White supremacy is also the biggest domestic terrorist organization across the homeland, boys. We've got a clusterfuck in Ukraine, another clusterfuck in Israel, clusterfuck in Syria, clusterfuck. <laughs> Every place is all fucked up right now. So now's the time to hire a brain-damaged fucking goofball to be a senator who can't fucking understand what the hell you're saying. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> well, I mean, it makes sense if you're overthrowing this country. But anyway, they bring this fucking idiot back to this stupid show again because they need the American people to draw a connection to him. This fucking idiot who can't dress himself. Look, I'm a big old fat fucking slob over here. I got the sands. I got the sands, everybody. I think, I don't know, let me see my speak. My speaking spell is telling me something. I don't know. I can't read fucking hieroglyphs. They're not hieroglyphs, John. That, those aren't hieroglyphs. That's just fucking good old fashioned English, hey, dude. You got brain damage, fool. <laughs> you got brain damage. I want to see this iPad, by the way, because it ain't words. It's fucking pictures. He's got like a fucking preschool tablet there. It's like elephant, elephant, hut, <laughs> clown car. <laughs> so they're going, well, what? Uh, Step in, Colbert. Donald Trump, pe people suck. Let's give more money to Cambodia. Cambodia? Oh, fucking 1962. Cambodia? No. Idiot. Ukraine. Or Israel. Or Lebanon. <laughs> Infinite amount of places. You know what I can't talk Cambodia anymore. So he sits there. He's, uh, he's poured onto this fucking couch and the dumb fucking goofballs wearing... Listen, I'm wearing a sweatshirt too. Ethan Van Skyver, boys. Get yourself some all caps. Fucking cyber frog shit. <laughs> but I I'm not pretending to be a senator. He is pretending to be a senator. Fat fucking slob over here. Wearing a, a, a 6XL and shorts. The motherfucker cannot put pants on. He's so fucked up he can't put pants on. But he in the Senate. And he says this on the couch. He says, quote, America is not sending their best and the brightest. Yeah, 
you, you, you know, I'm gonna do wash, do, do wash, do, do, do wash it, do, 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 do wash it, do this, say, <laughs> I think he's stroking out again, I think he's stroking out again, he got climate change, boys, he got climate change. Quick, bring the climate change defibrillators to the stage. This fucking goofball's having a conniption fit. So, there you go. You know, we're not sending our best and bright. We're sending a bunch of fucking criminals and brain-damaged goofball placeholders for future criminals to continue trying to throw my country off a fucking cliff. You all should need to know that America is not sending their best and brightest. Stunning lack of self-awareness. Brought to you not only by this lurch looking motherfucker, but the goofball behind the desk who, again, is perpetrating this nonsense on this country. Whether it's uh, those myocarditis shots that he's promoting or that this dude's a fit individual to be a senator or Joe Biden's doing a good job. Stephen Colbert, go fuck yourself, you alleged kid fucker. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Support you. If you want to be kept up to date with these criminals, hit that subscribe button and make white because the salt must flow.